Okay. Right. Um, it's about half three on Sunday, the 1st of December. Uh, one thing I will say is that I can't seem to access Facebook just now from either my home PC, the iPad, or my phone. Uh, certainly within this house, um, the phone seemed to work. When I left the house, I went round the corner, so not quite sure. I've got Twitter and everything else, but um, I don't know for the minute if this is going to upload to Facebook or not. Right, some of you will be aware of my ongoing battle against a very corrupt, well, council and chief constable. Um, if you haven't seen it, my first video is called The Very Corrupt Chief Constable. It, it's going on 600 views, so it's, uh, you know, words getting out there. Um, I received a letter uh, when I got home on Saturday morning, which was from Huntingdonshire District Council and is signed by Joanne Lancaster. You can see where I've put it through the scanner yesterday, covering my address up. Um, who is the, well, she calls herself the Managing Director, stroke Head of Paid Service. But let's face it, we're still looking at the, the era of uh, Chief Executive Officers in the Council. Uh, £125,000 a year, she earns. I wrote to her some six months ago detailing the corruption in the council when she'd just taken over. Um, no reply, of course. And uh, again, some of you will be aware of a video I did the other day which was called HDC Acting Illegally Again when they'd uh, requested personal contact details from me uh, regarding my single person discount for the council tax. So she got another letter then and um, I, of course, happened to mention 30 years of theft of public money. I just had to throw that in, really. Um, this is what she's now replied to. So I can't believe she has, because I think, you know, this is just... I think this is the end now. I think um, she's just hung herself, basically. Anyway, I shall read this, this letter to you. Um, I refer to your letter dated 24th November, which was the one I sent last week, obviously. Uh, and she mixes her words up here a bit, so this is, I am reading it right. I did not choose to respond to your earlier letter, since frankly it does not warrant a response. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty disgusting, really. I've, I've informed her, and it, you know, I did at the time quite politely, point out there's 30 years of, of theft of public money which very probably started with um, John Major when he was the MP in Huntingdon. Um, and that does not warrant a response. So there you go. That's, that's what she thinks of the taxpayer. Um, I, I just can't believe, you know, that, she, that she's done this. Um, she clearly thinks nothing of theft. Uh, she clearly hasn't even bothered to lift a finger to look into this. Um, the letter does go on. Um, it is very disappointing to receive correspondence of this nature as officers and elected members at Huntington District, Huntington District work very hard to ensure that the services we provide to the people of Huntingdonshire continue to be value for money and of a high standard and within the budgetary constraints that we are currently working to. Well, I don't know what stealing money for 30 years has got to do with the budget. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> she seems to be mixing things up there a little bit, you know. Um, I never said a word about the budget other than find 30 years of missing money, you know, which, of course, they took illegally in the first place, as a very corrupt chief constable video will tell you. Um... <laughs> I, mean, I, I really, you know, let's talk about uh, some of the councillors. Councillor Ian Bates, who was leader of the council, was taking home £21,000 a year of taxpayers' money in allowances. Um, who, when I pointed out that the council did not issue receipts for money paid by taxpayers, that was common practice, um, he said, 
do not disturb the status quo. So that's that's really how interested they are. You know, I've informed the current leader of of the council, Jason Ablewhite, councillor Jason Ablewhite, of all the corruption, and he said duly noted. So I, you know, they're not the slightest bit interested. More, they're not the slightest bit interested. In fact, they they they're pretty much saying they approve of this. Really, you know, what she said there is that they work very hard to to cover up fraud. Because she's she's not tried to deny my accusations. Um, she's she's made no real reference to my accusations, which tells me they're not the slightest bit interested. Anyway, I shall continue. Unless you have anything constructive to say in future correspondence, I would suggest that you do not look forward to a response. <laughs> so, you know, they don't want to hear it, do they? If it's bad news, forget it. Don't bother writing to them. Don't bother making a complaint because they're not interested. Anything constructive to say. So you're only going to get a reply if you say what a good job they're doing. And there's a phrase which I've used many times is that you're always right as long as you agree with them. And this seems to be, you know, the case. Um... I mean, I, I've, I've banged on many times about how this is a dictatorship, how there's no real freedom of speech, and there you go. So, it doesn't matter if you've got a complaint, they're not going to listen. Um, and really, you know, obviously any complaint does not warrant a response. So, I'm just absolutely flabbergasted, I really am. It's taken me a day. There's a lot that's gone up on Facebook and Twitter in the last 24 hours. Um, since I got this letter but it's, it's really taken me a day to get this together because I'm really I do not warrant a response that's me, I'm a taxpayer you're a taxpayer who's watching this you do not warrant a response this, this is what this woman on £125,000 a year of public money thinks of you they approve of fraud they try and cover up fraud they're working very hard to cover up fraud. That's basically what that letter says. But anything you say does not warrant a response. I'm quite... I didn't, you know, when I first read it, I thought, oh my God, I've been told off. <laughs> I felt like I was at school again. <laughs> but really, I'm quite sickened. I'm quite sickened. That that feeling you get at the, the pit of your stomach, you know, when you... And I, I really... I don't know who these people are. Because you point out what I've pointed out and it does not warrant a response. Remember that, you know, when the councillors are going around looking for your vote at the next election. Do tell them, you know, when you open the door. Sorry, mate, whatever you say does not warrant a response because that's what they think of us. So let's start thinking that of them, you know. Because they're the ones that are taking the taxpayers' money for their allowances, their expenses, their hotel bills, yeah? Everything. These councillors get paid 21, 22, 23 thousand pounds a year. I mean, you can live off of that. Thousands of people earn less than that, and that's a part-time job. <laughs> But this, you know, this is what they really think of us. And this is the message I've been trying to get across. And I'm really hoping this is massively, massively successful, this video, because... It just confirms everything I've been saying. It just confirms the last four and a half years of work I've done trying to expose these people. It just confirms they know fine well this money's gone missing. And they are not the slightest bit interested. Um, she has, of course, had a reply from me, but I, you know, I did actually even put in that reply that I doubt she'd reply to that. <laughs> um, but I've quite simply said to her, unless you go down to the police station now and refuse to leave until they start an investigation, you are guilty of theft, of fraud, of misconduct in public office. And it, you know. There's, there's, I could go on about this for, for hours, 
but I'm not going to because there's not enough you can say about this. Just remember, whatever you say to these people, unless you're agreeing with them, unless you're praising them, your communication, your letter, your text, your email does not warrant a response. And that's what Joe Lancaster, head of HDC, thinks about you.